Yo, good morning everyone, it is Big Banks. We're back again for another video. We are headed to an abandoned castle, a huge abandoned castle, abandoned in 2003. This place is known as the Castle of Secrets, and this place is amazing. I am ready to see this, this place is on my bucket list. It's like one of my dream spots. I am so ready to take you guys there. It's about 25 minutes from where we're at right now. It's already getting light outside, and it's, it's like 5.30, and it's already getting light. And it gets dark at like, 11:30. It's so crazy. You only get like a few hours of, of darkness here. We're gonna try to get there. We're gonna get in, and we are going to explore this beast. So, wish us luck. Lakota's coming along. Uh, Pet my camel is coming along, and we are about to head out. So, yeah, I am super excited for this one. So, I'll tell you a little bit more about the place as we get there. See you when we at the, at the castle. Today, we look inside of a 15th century abandoned castle in the countryside of France. The last time this chateau was occupied was 2003, when the family seemed to just vanish, leaving everything behind, including very incredibly valuable items. It was later purchased by an Indonesian family that never used the castle, and they stopped paying the taxes on it in 2017. So come with me and let's take a look inside what is known as Chateau Secret. Alright guys, well we made it inside the castle. Massive front doors. Everything is still here. It is beautiful. The architecture is amazing. Just wait till you see the stuff we find in here. This place has been abandoned since 2003. Everything in here is worth a lot of money. Like a lot. Let's just get this explore going and yeah. So literally right when you walk in, you get this amazing piece of furniture here with all these details in it. This man's holding a fish, lion's heads, everything is so beautiful. Like I can only imagine how much this piece cost. And then we have this massive staircase, absolutely gorgeous. Probably one of the bigger staircases I've ever seen, especially for a house. You have the area right here next to it. It has a old baby carriage. Very nice furniture. It's like a little room underneath the staircase. Oh my gosh, there's a chapel here. There's a chapel. Whoa. What the hell? Oh. There's a confession booth. Dude. Oh my goodness. This is nuts. I have never seen this side of a house before. Look at the ceiling, man. The details. The stained glass in here is nuts. I am blown away right now. That is crazy. The nice pillars coming in here. And the confession booth right here. What the heck? <laughs> you imagine you're living in your castle and you have a confession booth. That's crazy. So you have a priest come here. <laughs> and your whole family goes to church right here. You probably have your own personal priest. Jeez. That's insane. And then these doors are like fabric. They're very strange. This is what you see when you first walk in. Then we go right here into this room. And I don't know what this was, but we have three pianos here. One is a grand piano, just chilling on its side. One, two, three, four of these couches. This is unlike anything I've ever seen before. So this says, pray for the Urbexers. <laughs> yeah, a couple of leather couches and another cool piece of furniture with some books left behind in this one. Here's this hallway here and it has more books. But this right here is nuts. Look at all of this.
Huh. So this is like the formal living room. Or just a regular living room. I don't really know how they do it in castles, you know. Oh my gosh. Why is it so beat up like that? That's huge though. That's these two rooms. And they're just beautiful with everything still here. We come out these giant French doors straight through here to this dining room and oh my goodness. That is massive. Dude, this is one of the biggest tables I've ever seen. And each chair here is probably a few grand. Here's the wallpaper. There was a painting right there. So this wallpaper was actually blue, dude. But it's been sitting here so long that it's faded into brown. This is probably one of the fanciest couches I've ever seen. Probably worth. You could probably sell this for like. It's like 10,000? Yeah, 10,000 probably. 10,000 euro? It's crazy how we both thought the same number. <laughs> Dude, even this chair. This chair is probably 10,000 alone. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look at this. It's, it's all handmade. Gorgeous. There was paintings in here, man. You can see, because it was blue. Maybe they moved them out or I don't know. Look at this, dude. All the china in here. So it is crazy just to see where the paintings were and there were massive paintings. They were on every single one of these walls. Right here, and they're gone. Massive ceiling, 15 foot at least. Like this is a huge, huge house. I mean, it's a castle. So I'm not sure what this room would have been, but it's got the checkered floors, some cabinetry, and each of these cabinets has a skeleton key to open it up. Yeah, not much. This might have just been like a little bit of a storage area right here with this stuff, but maybe a breakfast room? But for a house like this, I feel like breakfast rooms would be a lot larger. This goes to the kitchen, which we'll go there next after we go here. Whoa, what is this room? Nice furniture. Here's more of those uh, leather couches. But we have a very, ta very nice table here. And the chairs are super nice. This is actually leather that has like designs in it. You know that costs some money, especially here in France. We have the old typewriter. So I'm wondering what this room actually was. Maybe this was like a study or something. Yeah, like a coffee area slash like Yeah, or study. like a study room. There's books here. I mean, I feel like you would come in here to, yeah, like study. Yeah. Or read or something like that. Nice. There's a piano or there's like a fireplace. Yeah, fireplace, the couches. Just a nice little, little room. All these books are here. So this is another entry to the house. Every single one of these cabinets is like hand carved, mm -hmm. just beautiful pieces. So right here, it looks like we have a servant's staircase. Back here, it's just storage. We just stored a bunch of crap in here. Let's continue to explore this place. We still have a lot to see at the bottom. We're going to the kitchen now. So we're gonna make our way to the kitchen now, but we have this hallway that has another staircase here, spiral staircase, absolutely beautiful. Checkered floors, beautiful cabinetry. Again, you're just gonna see that throughout this whole entire place. Just amazing stuff. I feel like this place is never ending. This is like a little bathroom or something. It's only a sink here though, there's no toilet. Right here we have the kitchen. And look at how immaculate this is. Look at, oh my gosh. This kitchen is nuts. You have two large tables in here. All the pots and pans are just hanging up. Like this is something special here. Check that out. I'm in love with this place. This is a very, very large kitchen. <laughs> so this is one of those things that you put food in here and you can grab it from the other side. Stuff like that. Seen that a few times before. Pantry still full of everything. Champagne bucket right there. Everything's still here. I've never seen a place quite like this. 
This is just something out of a fairy tale. Look at that. Wow, 1846. And right off the kitchen would be the laundry room. And there's still towels and stuff hanging up in there. The washing machine is still here. Iron board. And this is large. This is bigger than, I mean, just the laundry room is bigger than like my entire living room. That's, <laughs> that's nuts. We're gonna go back through this hallway. Time to head up these massive stairs. This place has definitely been on my bucket list for a minute now. I've been wanting to see this ever since I heard about it. I saw my dream spot as the uh, theme park in Turkey. So now my dream spot is a castle and we're in one. And this one is straight up like a fairy tale. A chapel, massive kitchen, huge staircase. The art that I feel like was in here would be amazing because what I'm looking at right now is insane. This right here must have had the biggest painting ever. <laughs> that's that's like a 15 foot painting that would have been in there. I mean, the frame is 15 foot at least. And it's gone, the painting itself is gone. So you just see the wallpaper. The frame itself is probably worth $100,000 or more. Here's a look down. Yeah, there's graffiti in here, that sucks. Who would graffiti a castle like this? So I didn't even show you guys this from below. But check this out. You can see down into the first floor. And you have all these cabinets here. I'm wondering if they had books in them. Such an amazing place this is. Just check that out. Imagine if that painting was still there. There were paintings on these walls too, you can see on each one. So they definitely had an appreciation for art. And right here we have the French flag. Just chilling. The fourth piano in this place I've seen, or fifth, maybe even more. But I don't get these uh, doors here. They're literally like fabric. They feel really cheap, honestly. We'll go down here. It got hot up here, real quick. So we're gonna go to my left. Oh my lord. This bedroom. Whoa. That bed frame is crazy. It matches the wallpaper. What? Literally matches, it flows. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's so crazy. There's so much black mold in this room though, right there. You can see it all built up in the corner and even on this wall. You don't see king size beds a lot in France, but when you're in a castle, you're definitely gonna see them. And here's even the bathroom. I don't see a toilet though, I just see a bidet. Where's the toilet? Clothes still hanging up in here. But so far, this is my favorite room. It'd even be cooler if the, if the comforter matched the wallpaper. <laughs> Wait. Either this is the comforter, this is the comforter. And it does match. The <laughs> it does match. The wallpaper. <laughs> wow. Never seen that before, ever. Anything in this chest here? No, it's just empty, but it's pretty cool though. But then right across the hall, we got another bedroom. 
got a yellow couch and a yellow bed. So this room is definitely catered to more yellow, if you like yellow. I feel like it would be cozy to sleep on. Not for me though, I'm too tall for that. This even looks like maybe a, a baby crib, like a fancy one. But the wallpaper has this floor wallpaper, yellow matches the comforter right there. But then we got a shelf full of books. Look at this. Diario de una uh, shipaba. <laughs> it's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but what the heck. In French. I used to love this book. And here's another little bathroom with like some teal carpet in here. Yo, I used to have one of these. Oh, here's another bedroom. I feel like I'm getting lost in this place. This is crazy, this bedroom. A little bit more plain than the others, but it looks comfy, for sure. Then you come down a hallway. This floor is a bit dodgy, right here. And in this hallway, we have this massive dresser. So beautiful. What is this little room? Oh, this is a bathroom, okay. Look at these bedrooms, dude. So this is actually in one of like the, the, the castle. Dome. Yeah, the, the dome parts. Oh my god. Dude, I, I would want a bedroom like this. Look at this, this is crazy. This is amazing. Dude, I feel like I'm getting lost. Like there's so much here. Well, we've seen a few bedrooms now. And now it's time to look around a little bit more. So we're gonna go back down this hallway here. And there is like rugs here, which look pretty massive. So I wonder where they would have gone here in the house. Whoa. Nah, this is the master. This room is massive. Oh my lord. This room is nuts. It's got the blue floral wallpaper. And one thing I noticed about wallpaper here in France is they're way, way cooler than wallpaper I see back home. So you got that fireplace, blue couch, leather, super fancy. King size bed. That's a big bed, actually. That's more than a king size. Here's one painting, still here, so that's good. Here's a cabinet. Got a typewriter in here. Maybe another painting rolled up. Some toys, cologne, perfume. But this is definitely the master, and that's crazy. This bed has to be like a California king size bed. Ooh, it's firm. But it's probably firm from nobody laying on it for a long time. <laughs> so honey, what do you think of this place? It's amazing. I can't even put words. Can't even describe yeah. how amazing this place is. Here we get to the map. Yo. So this is the master bathroom. Big tub here. Another bidet. I still don't see where the toilets are. But this is in one of the domes too. Anything left? Yeah, not much though. Honey, yeah. you're gonna wanna see this. And I'm talking about this room <laughs> right here. Holy crap. This is a library. Yo. This is amazing. All these sewing machines in here as well. There's like four of them. I've never seen anything like this inside of a house. There's even some. Did I have a workshop in here or something? Yeah, I think this was a workshop as well. Like, different stations. four different sewing machines, yeah, and they're all by Singer, too, so they're definitely expensive. So we gotta go up another floor here. Whoa, hold up. So it goes down like half a floor right here. Not much left in these rooms here, though. So it's like, you come down half a floor and you have a whole nother section. This was a pool table at one point, I think. It definitely looks like a pool table. Then we have another bedroom right here. So there's not much on this side. 
You can see where the bed was actually supposed to go in. So now we've come up to a third floor. And it's looking like squatters might have even been in here at one point. A little bit more trashy up here. Let me go to the top. There's bird feathers everywhere. But the bird feathers might just be from like one of the mattresses or something. There's another room. A little bedroom. So it's looking like most of the stuff is on the more bottom floors than up here. Still quite amazing though. But it even goes up another floor. Might as well check it out. See if this is safe. It's a little dodgy. Oh. Oh yeah. It's just caving in up here. But I want to be sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, that, f that floor is not good. There's literally a hole right there. The staircase is sketch. Oh, the staircase is really sketchy. Yeah, it's like warping. But we have another door to check on the outside of, like back in that hallway when you first come up the stairs. Oh yeah. It's another door to check. And it's downstairs too. All right, so. Here's another staircase. Whoa, it does get creepy over here, doesn't it? There's like doors on doors. Oh, there's a bunch of frames. Wow, maybe they got, maybe they sold off the art or something. Here's another door right here. Blueprints, it looks like, maybe even art. And this looks like another bedroom. Holy crap. This room is like, okay, the floor is like warped. The bed frame is sick though. This is a big room too. It's hard to tell which one's the master, but I think the master was definitely that other one. Had a way bigger bed. Dude, this place just keeps on going. Yeah, it's like endless. Literally endless. Here's another room. Oh my gosh. Like, there's just so many... There's just so many bedrooms everywhere. Look at this, another bed. Yeah, there's probably like, how many rooms here? Bedrooms? I don't know. Like 40? <laughs> <laughs> and every room has a bathroom. Like it's unreal. Every room has a bathroom. There's probably even more bathrooms than bedrooms. Black mold is in, in this one. Yeah, the black mold is strong here. Yeah, it doesn't open. I don't know why. I wish I knew it behind it. Open it all. I'm like dying to find out, bro. I want to know what's behind this door. <laughs> <laughs> Come down another hallway. This place is literally never ending. Oh, this is the elevator. What? Yeah. It's only... Don't get in that. It's fucking crazy. I think this is like the top of it. So that there, it goes down. Yeah? But I didn't even see where it went to. Like, where would it go to? Maybe someone that I was on this floor was like disabled or something. Maybe. And, like, Dude, that's an old. Their area and it's like, that is an old elevator there. Oh my gosh. Dude, it just keeps going. <laughs> it's endless. Bro. I mean, this is the top floor, so this is the last floor. I assume. <laughs> storage. Yeah, storage. Another bedroom. Yeah, what is this rope here for? I don't want to pull it. I, don't, I think something might bad happen if I pulled it. And this is locked to go to that side. Here's another bathroom. This table is expensive, for sure. But this is probably where like servants stay. Ah, so here's the elevator. Yo, thanks. It's for the church. Oh, it's a church bell. Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't pull that. <laughs> Some of these doors are locked. Another bedroom, but it's just kind of full of stuff. Storage. That goes outside. A locked door. So these doors are literally mysteries. I could be in them. It's crazy scary. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this abandoned castle. This place was by far one of the best places I've ever seen. Just because like seeing a castle in real life is like literally something kids dream of, you know? Like when you're a kid, you see these Disney movies of these castles and you always just wanna see a real one. And to see one like this that's abandoned is just a dream come true. This place was absolutely beautiful. And I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this place was. Let me know which country I should go to next because I am planning some big trips. Gonna be doing a lot more videos like vlogs, uh, Airbnbs, uh, crazy destinations, just things like that. I'm gonna be doing still abandoned stuff, but more uh, travel documentary type things. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button if you're new leave a like and comment your favorite part. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters. Guys, if you're not a part of the Patreon, you get exclusive access, early access to videos. I give away some paintings and stuff on there. If you guys wanna be a part of that and help support uh, doing some of these travels, that would be amazing. If not, totally fine. Thank you for watching the videos. Anyways, you guys are all amazing. Thank you for so much support over the past two years and stay tuned for next week. We got another abandoned castle coming to you and yeah. We're working on moving right now and it's been kind of hectic, but we're ready to get, get on with this and get on with the grind again. So thank you again so much and we'll see you next time. Big Banks out.